SpotX as a platform, uh, we have two major components of our technology. Um, we have an ad serving platform as well as uh, programmatic infrastructure that we bring to media owners like Sling, um, allow them to transact both you know, traditional uh, direct sold ad sales as well as some of the more modern um, ad sales with, with real time ad decisioning and, and programmatic transactions. Uh, in terms of our relationship with Sling, uh, we're focused on uh, programmatic enablement, working with their sales teams in order to uh, work with buyers of, of all shapes and sizes to connect them and allow those buyers to purchase the inventory programmatically. Um, they leverage um, our technical support. Uh, obviously, this is a new area of the business and um, it's changing very rapidly and so it's lots of new and nascent technology. Um, but we also have a, a special agreement with uh, Dish Media Sales where they're able to leverage their first party data through our platform. Uh, very interesting audience segments like vacationers or auto intenders. Uh, it's first party data uh, proprietary to Dish and make that data available and actionable through programmatic transactions. Um, and that's a deal exclusive to SpotX and um, we've seen you know, great results there. And obviously we're taking that data and not only, only enabling uh, programmatic transactions, but we're doing that in both VOD and live streaming environments, which is really the cutting edge uh, of the digital ad industry. And um, give us an idea of uh, supply. We hear that supply is increasing, but tell us about supply for, for OTT, for not, not just Sling, but more generally kind of how supply is is opening up or not you know there's always been this uh, discussion in terms of the industry of how um, there's a huge shortage of premium video supply um, and so I think if anything folks were saying you know how much can we do in programmatic really there's only there's only so much that's available a lot of it is locked up through you know traditional upfront deals uh, and that was definitely true for a long time uh, certainly over the past three to six months, we've seen the amount of su supply, uh, specifically around OTT, both VOD and live streaming, really start to surge. You see that in consumer behavior. I mean, some of the reports around pay TV subscriber losses, specifically in Q1 and Q2 of this year, and some of the rumblings about Q3 being uh, the worst quarter yet. Uh, what's happening? Consumers are, are really starting to shift their uh, consumption behavior and obviously we're seeing on the flip side some of the virtual M MVPDs and, and digital offerings really start to take off. Therefore, the ad supported invent inventory in that space is also really starting to surge. And so um, we're really starting to see that economic dynamic shift where there's a material amount of, of ad inventory that's now coming to the market. So it's a really exciting time for the OTT space for sure. Cool. And tell us about you know, education or the sort of learning curve for both the publishing side and also the buy side, which in a sense are a little bit new to this. Uh, how is that sort of um, awareness education developing? It's a great question. It's a really important part of what we do day to day here at SpotX. Certainly with our platform customers, media owners, we actually launched an entire specialty group called our advanced solutions group just because with these engagements in OTT and connected TV, there tends to be various technologies that touch our platform. Uh, it's different. It's a different engagement with, with each of our customers. And so we bring this specialized team in to help engage with our customers, uh, share our best practices, learn more about their setup and make sure we structure things in the right way uh, based on what their internal setup looks like. Um, and so we spend a lot of time in those types of engagements with platform customers on the OTT front. Also, the buy side education is, is a really par important part of the equation. As I mentioned, this is a new area of the business, specifically when you get into live linear OTT, uh, the traffic patterns tend to look a lot different than what, um, for example, the DSPs or the agencies are used to. You have to address the traffic differently and the environments differently than you would, for example, a desktop web environment. And so we spend a lot of time educating both sides just around how things work, uh, the, the evolving technologies, and, and we also learn a lot from talk, talking to both sides of the fence. Our team, actually, we built a, a services group on the buy side called Demand Facilitation. Um, and instead of sort of the traditional sales model, what they do is they work in coordination with the sales teams that our platform customers have. Many of them are large media organizations that have existing sales groups um, who are perhaps accustomed to doing things a, a certain way. And now with a lot of the changes that programmatic is bringing to the market, 
Uh, they help uh, our customers understand perhaps the different questions they should be asking, you know, best practices. Um, and we share a lot of the feedback that we get from buyers. Uh, for example, we have a brand advisory board where we talk to some of the, the biggest TV buyers and digital buyers in the ecosystem to understand their uh, perspective, what they need, what's missing, what's working, what's not working. And we bring that knowledge over to our, our platform customers. And so we're doing a lot, I would say, on, on both sides of the fence in terms of education, education and help, help, helping bridge the gap in terms of how uh, these transactions are happening. Give us a, a snapshot of the marketplace about pricing uh, around uh, you know, OTT, um, programmatic TV, as we've been discussing. Um, give us an idea of the marketplace, how that's changing and, and pricing relative to, um, you know, national buys or local spot buys. Yeah, I mean, if you look at the television marketplace, there's certainly a, a dramatic difference in terms of CPMs when you look at, you know, national network buys versus local or spot TV CPMs. Um, if you look at it from a digital perspective, um, you know, OTT certainly commands a premium over perhaps formats like Outstream or uh, short form. Um, but we think we're reaching the point where there's really great balance in the market. Um, and uh, from what we're seeing, I think uh, pricing isn't necessarily a, a huge barrier. And I think both sides see value in what the, what the market is bringing to the table at this point in time. And, and finally, um, where is growth for, for you guys, for, you know, um, for the industry in terms of uh, OTT? We, we hear a lot about the skinny bundles and it uh, seems like every week we hear about you know, Disney and we hear about CBS, we hear about Hulu, we hear others, uh, AT&T. Um, Tell us your thoughts about the growth of the sort of OTT skinny bundles uh, or Publisher Direct and the opportunities uh, for advertisers in this sort of um, new world. Yeah, I mean, the opportunity is, is tremendous for, for SpotX. Um, we're working with customers of all shapes and sizes on the OTT front, everything from the MVPDs and, and cable satellite companies, as you alluded, to the, the programmers and, and networks themselves, to um, some of the new age OTT services that are coming to market, which didn't exist four or five years ago and are really starting to gain steam over perhaps certain verticals of content, and even device manufacturers who have uh, media rights over inventory in return for distribution. So for us, the customer base has really um, you know, gotten quite diverse on the OTT side.